Hi, this is Sue Oyuela, and when it comes to renting a timeshare, a question I get from timeshare owners all the time is, do I pick the dates first, or do I leave it open and let the guests tell me which dates they want? Well, honestly, both strategies work very well, and I defined it like this. The fixed dates strategy is when you pick the dates first, and the open date strategy is when you let the guests tell you which dates they want. So, how do you know which one to use when you're renting your timeshare? Well, the answer depends on how likely you are to be able to book the dates with your timeshare. So, when you try to book a timeshare resort, there are two things that can happen. When you search on the dates you want, the search results will either say, yes, those dates are open and available for you to book, or they'll say, those dates aren't available, but if your dates are flexible, here are some other places you might like in which case I interpret that as a no. And the question you have to ask yourself is, what are the odds that I will get a yes if I leave it open to the guests to tell me which dates they want? If you're unsure or in your experience you've run into more no's than yeses when you try to book your timeshare, then I would go with the fixed date strategy and lock in the dates with the timeshare first before renting it out. That way, when the guests find your listing and want to book it, you can feel confident knowing that you can keep your promise to them that those dates are indeed available. So if you're a timeshare owner and you're ready to rent your timeshare for fun and profit, then I invite you to click the link below to register for my free training where you're going to learn what you need to do to rent your timeshare safely and profitably. This is Sue Oyuela saying bye for now.